a scripture came to my mind. Be still and know that I am God. I pray the Holy Ghost will enlighten each of us as we consider a higher and holier dimension of stillness in our lives, an inner spiritual stillness of the soul that enables us to know and remember that God is our Heavenly Father, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. Therefore, let your hearts be comforted concerning Zion, for all flesh is in mine hands. Be still and know that I am God. I believe the Lord's admonition to be still entails much, much more than simply not talking or not moving. Perhaps His intent is for us to remember and rely upon Him and His power at all times and in all things and in all places that we may be in. Every time we faithfully receive, review, remember, and renew sacred covenants, our spiritual anchors are secured ever more firmly and steadfastly to the rock of Jesus Christ. Every Sunday, if we will, we can be still and know that God is our Heavenly Father, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. If we will, we can be still in our holy places of worship and know ever more surely that God is our Heavenly Father, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. In His holy house, if we will, we can be still and know that God is our Heavenly Father, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. Our homes should be the ultimate combination of both sacred time and holy place, wherein individuals and families can be still and know that God is our Heavenly Father, we are His children, and Jesus Christ is our Savior. I promise that as we build the foundation of our lives on the rock of Jesus Christ, we can be blessed by the Holy Ghost to receive an individual and spiritual stillness of the soul that enables us to know and remember that God is our Heavenly Father. We are His children. Jesus Christ is our Savior, and we can be blessed to do and overcome hard things. I joyfully witness that God is our Heavenly Father. We are His children. And Jesus Christ is our Redeemer and the rock of our salvation. I so testify in the sacred name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.